Hey man, this whole Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight is getting crazy. Check this out. How do you respond to people who are critical about this fight taking place in the first place at all because of your differences, particularly your age? Well, I don't see too many people critical about it. Look at this. Excuse me? Critics, you know, people. Who? In the Tell me who. Name it somebody. Folks. You? Who? <laughs> no. Folks, who say it? Thanks. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> oh, she chicken out. She chicken out. Ain't got no heart. She ain't got no heart. Thanks. She chicken out. She ain't stand. She ain't stand on her question. She got, she got out of there. She said, okay, I give up. I quit. Tyson said, get out of here. Get out of here. Right here in hat. <laughs> Jacob Denimore with the ticket in Dallas. My question's for Jake. Jake, you say you want to be a serious boxer and you want to be a contender and be a title holder. So then when at some it, in when in your career are you going to actually fight a contender in your weight class and not do gimmick fights? Oh, 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 oh. I think he just called Mike Tyson a gimmick. Mike Tyson's 58 years old, or will be at the time of the fight. Yes. So as much as I respect him? Mike Tyson, will you and fight his, him? Why did you just call me? You, I didn't call you anything. Why did you call me? I didn't call you anything. <laughs> Tyson ain't playing. <laughs> hey. Tyson is not playing with these folk, bruh. He said, man, don't take this for a joke. This ain't no joke. I ain't no joke. I used to make the microphone smoke. I forgot that song. Tyson said, what? It's been four years in Tyson this sport, playing. and I've done more to it than any boxer in the history of the sport. So it... What? In due time, sir. I will be fighting for a world championship and I will be shutting you the fuck up and making you eat your own words. What? Just like the rest of these fucking punks. What? To the left here. Brandon Childs, Arlington Urban Media and Entertainment. Uh, this question is for both of you gentlemen. What makes each of you so confident? Jay Paul is fat as hell. Confident that you'll get the win come July. IJ Paul putting on a lot of fat, bro. I 20th. I don't know. Picture me losing to him. You're, you're gonna have a lot of pictures of it, Mike. Ooh. I don't see it. Ooh. Last question. Ooh. Last media question here. <laughs> Hey, this question is for Jake. Being that you've come to Dallas countless times and sold out the uh, American Arena and even now AT&T Stadium, man, I want to ask you, would you consider Dallas your home turf as far as a fighter? Lame question. Who cares? Now, Cleveland born and raised. Cleveland born and raised. And Jake Paul went on to say, I respect Mike. He's a legend. But it's time. It's my time now. There's a reason I have the same birthday as Custom Motto because I'm going to teach you how to box, Mike. Tyson repeatedly called Paul fat and questioned the YouTuber turned boxer's resume and power. He also promised to knock Paul out with the first punch he lands. Oh, Tyson, you saying you doing it like that? He can't even knock out Nate Diaz, Tyson said. Nate Diaz is 40 pounds. How are you going to knock me out? Who's the other guy? Anderson Silva? He didn't knock out those little guys. How's he going to knock me out? Who did he knock out? <laughs> Who did he knock out? Little children? He never knocked out a real man. Come on. All of the trash talk may not have even been necessary to sell the fight. According to news conference host Brian Custer, the fight broke the largest live comeback sports gate in Texas history less than 24 hours after tickets went on sale to the public. A specific figure 
was not revealed. Thursday's news conference took place a little over two months prior to the July 20th event at AT&T Stadium in Dallas. The event will stream on Netflix and mark the streaming service's first delve into live comeback sports. It's a co-headline by match of one of the best women's boxing bouts ever as, Amon as Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor collide once again. Both women were also present at Thursday's press conference. So wow, man, you know, it's still up in the air whether this is going to be a, a, a exhibition or a real fight. They saying it's going to be a real fight. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting, man. You know, Tyson looked good. He, he, he he's training. His body is fit. I wonder are they gonna do any drug test in this fight? Who knows, bro? But uh, hey, man, it's going down though. It's going down in the ground. July twentieth. Netflix. Let's get it. Peace.